and it's night time again. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's night time. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Okay. So does that mean we're gonna be in escalation next time? It's spooky. Let's check the map. Who is where? Celeste and Chihiro are there. Mondo and... Okay. Celeste and Chihiro. Where are Cel... There is Chihiro. Celeste! You might be beautiful, but you're also creepy. Well there, good evening. Celeste, what are you up to? <laughs> what am I up to? I am simply going for a nice evening stroll. Hmm. You know, I was thinking about the rooms belonging to everyone who uh, has left us. I would very much like to know what is going on in there, but it seems their doors are locked. Really? Ah, It must be another one of Monokuma's little tricks. Sometimes he gets hung up on the weirdest stuff. I wonder about Do you that. think so? It seems that it is... That is merely him displaying his passion. Toward the production of this killing game. <laughs> anyway, I shall resume my excursion. If you have some time... You're welcome to join me. Oh, that's okay. I hope you are well. Yes, very well then. Goodbye. Man, she is adorable and she has such a beautiful voice. Marie Hang Hangington was it? Yeah. She has such a good voice actor. We have Chiro over here. Uh, oh, hi Makoto. Um. This is the warehouse, right? Taka said it had everything we could need, but... Are you looking for something? You need some help? Huh? No, I can take care of it myself. Thank you. Thank you for asking though. So then... I wonder what she's looking for. Okay, let's just say I just want to get something to eat and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually no, I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me. Hey Makoto, perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, who is... Hey, yeah? Come on, Makoto. You gotta be a witness. Witness? To what? Witness to what? This guy has been talking shit about me since day one, calling me coward and shit like that. You're corrupt. You are a coward and that's why you tur turn to violence to solve your problems. Dude, you have nothing better to say than... Taka, with every sentence that coming out of your mouth... I really gotta wonder, what makes you the ultimate moral compass? Because I have such a, the idea that your compass is totally pointing in the wrong direction. That's why you can't do the, what society asks of you. 
Why you walk around dressed like that? Oh yeah, you're dressing a lot better. You know? The fuck you say? You do no shit. You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. Okay. Then let's throw down. Proof you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Oh, great. You're gonna throw down. You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside. I see, a simple endurance contest, is it? Got it? We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit. Goddamn straight! Oh brother... Hmm... Maybe I should have... Are you guys really gonna go through it with this? Stop shit yeah! He'll be done in a matter of minutes. Anyway, people like him are without exception. All talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a bitch. We're gonna battle with all our clothes on. Ridiculous. That's idiotic, suicidal. You wanna fight? What? You afraid? You're going to regret this! Stop fucking around. Shut up! Let's do this! Hey, Mondo. He has a towel over his pompadour. What asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? Uh, you're not looking any better. It just so happens I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good, I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but I don't think you've done enough. Don't you think you've done enough? Okay, okay, okay. Just asking, because you're just being really ridiculous idiots, you know? Gah, I just can't win, you know? I just wanted to something to eat. Can I just get something to eat?
Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Hey, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. Actually, there is. That's just both people acknowledging that they have strengths equal to one another. A true competition isn't about winning or losing. It's about gauging one's strength in accordance to one another. If you tie, that means you're on equal footing for the act that you are doing right now. That's sitting in a sauna. Not to mention you can, com you can continue your competition the next day. And you have a full day to sit there. Oh brother. Or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. No, it doesn't. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. And then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. One of those two is going to end up dead, isn't they? Yeah, one of those two is going to end up dead. The gate of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl in back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk for someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at ya! Okay, well, good night then. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to, de to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Well... Uh, and Probably no killer at all. It would be suicide by stupidity. Hmm. Damn, already an escalation. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to the sleep. A fate does exist. Does that mean your future is decided the moment you, you're born? If all your fr yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. You're weird, Monokuma, you're weird. And what's that poster in the background? Good morning everyone! It is now 7am and night time is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worry about the two of them. I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey Makoto! <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Uh, what the heck happened to between them and them? Although it's not that strange 
they did have some competition and you know what it actually we saw a lead into this it's not so not as strange as what happened with between celeste and he for me who are now master and servant all of a sudden Blah. okay huh are they friends now they've been like this all morning they were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in it feels gross what? feels gross hell no feels great more like this almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Um, Hina? How does that equate to sexual harassment? You know, these kind of things that someone grabs a little bit too fast. Okay, I don't want to say that sexual harassment is bad. Yes. Sexual harassment is not something... You should shut up about if it actually happens it actually happens and you should report that because it's not right however demeaning sexual harassment like this by equating something totally different to sexual harassment then you're creating an atmosphere where sexual harassment is no longer taken seriously. And that when it actually happens, people will be afraid to speak up about it. Or people, when they speak up about it, will just no longer be believed or even tolerated because it would mean that well means it, it has well sexual harassment can lead can be a double-edged sword when it is true the perpetrators should be uh, punished however when you falsely accuse someone you are seriously damaging their reputation. When you falsely accuse someone too fast, you're serious too much, you're seriously damaging your own reputation. Or when you're crying too much about it. Know when something is actual sexual harassment, please, before you equate something like that. Please, Hina! For crying out loud. Forget it, bro. A girl like her just don't doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand that. They could, Taka. They could. However, she is just equating something that is consensually. With something that is not consensually. Ain't that right. What you just said, bro. Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. Oh, brother. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Wait, what? What about a competition is about winning or losing? But man is, is we both took part in it together. How about not being hypocritical? And just say you accepted a tie. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Right, Makoto, that's totally different. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. No, friendship between men is just as complicated as between girls. Or between women. These are just two idiots. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. No, not for real. They are just idiots. 
all throughout breakfast that morning. The room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was pretty unfortunate experience. Uh, okay, so what should I do today? Ding dong. Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Toko? Oh boy. Hey. Ah, Toko, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? No, but you're a little bit introverted. You're not easily going to other people. Is this an effect that I got by having spent some time with her? That would be cool. That would be really cool. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that. So that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying, Toko. You're a sweet girl. Okay? You're lovely. A little bit introverted. With an inferiority complex, but... On the, uh, on the other end, still a sweet little girl. Okay? Who can write some good, beautiful romance novels, apparently, even though she lacks any social skills. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. Ooh. Go somewhere with you? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. And where is it you want to go? Wow. Well, the library. The library. The library. Oh, please don't tell me. Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. What? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? No wonder. <laughs> Be quiet when you go in. Don't let them see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. And surprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. Uh, why? Why do we have to talk to him? What? Wait, what? Was that Makoto's? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. We still have a lot of things to look at. He seems to be really be focused on the book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. No shit, but your girlfriend is trying to drag me into here. Okay? Ah, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. 
Am I allowed to go through that door then? Please? And take her with you. Toko, this is your turn. You wanted to come here. Hey, um, Yakuya. Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man. I never said that. Yeah, he never said that. Toko, what is... Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Wait, that's creepy, Toko. That's creepy. Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Yeah, you could take a shower. Even though I can't smell you through the... Through the... Screen. make me say it again go now before you stench latches onto the entire room ah I kind of feel sorry for her now but you could use a bath though really dug into us there maybe he's in a bad mood she seems super depressed did it really upset her that much yuck yeah to go that far you must be what he must be really concerned about me what the hell happened what's going through your head huh he told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. No, because you haven't taken a shower and since we got here. Remember, you said so yourself. And you're always wearing the same clothes. Hey Marketo, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be good together honestly I think you deserve better than that jackass but since you're delusional about being with him yeah I think you're fit well together very well and well now I don't really know Maybe. that's true there's really no way you to know But the distance between us doesn't change our love. How delusional are you? Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. How delusional are you? Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday? Well, bye. Okay. <laughs> what? <sighs> ah, young love. My thoughts exactly. That bear really has to show up at its most unfortunate moments, doesn't it? Oh, brother. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Okay. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. There's still some time left today. What? There's actually some additional free time? I thought we were in escalation already. Wow. Okay. There's some additional free time. 
Then who am I going to spend the day with? Hmm. Let's see who is where. Ifumi and Hiro are in the... There. Mondo is there. Taka is there. Chihiro is in the warehouse. Laundry with Hina and... Toko is in her room and she is so infatuated with that... Yakuya, I don't think I'm gonna go to her. I just... Eh, uh, well... Celeste is... Oh, someone's in this uh, area now. And that's Celeste. Okay. Oh, no. Kyoko! Second floor hallway. Yakuya... He will be saying the same way as anyone else, doesn't it? Well, let's go look at what everyone is doing in here. Shall we check up on Toko? Is she still in 7th heaven? Toko! Did you come here to yell at me? Anyway. My whole life is one unpleasant experience after another. Didn't you just had a very pleasant experience? Okay. No, I'm gonna walk this way around. Is someone over here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here then. Uh, yeah, here for me. Ah, oh, Miss Nagy, I'm glad you came. No, not really. Wasn't Chio in the warehouse? What are you doing here? I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with an AI installed in it? No, we don't have the technology yet. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future. Well, she seems smart and she does have some good uh, ideas, but... Uh, let's check on other stuff and other people. Wasn't Hero somewhere? Oh yeah, he was over here. According to the spirits. I had a dream last night. I saw that the spirit would world was going to flood us with energy and save us from this school nightmare. It's a prophecy. Take heart, my man. Should I hang out? Kill see what else is around, okay? Um we had laundry with Hina and Sakura, I think. Yep. Hina! Each and every, every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Are you... Uh, is your life evolving around quotes all, all the entire time? Yeah. Hey. Magato, I... Actually, never mind. So what did you want? What does she want, actually? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Was there someone in the bathhouse? No, but someone was in the kitchen and dining hall. Okay, Mondo, you were there. Yo. Hey, Makto, what's up? Considering we hang out with him last night, uh, no. T 
Taka. You know what I really like to do? I like to found and subsequently lead an official morals committee here in the school. With your moral compass, that would not be a good idea. My mission is to secure everyone's moral fortitude and create an environment conducive to study. <laughs> After announcing my candidacy, next comes the election. I hope I can vote, count on your vote. I will be voting for your opponent. Really? I don't like that guy. Let's go see who is where and who is what doing what store we don't have it oh here you are my adorable little Lolita does this school not have a dry cleaning service how oh, terribly upsetting uh, it does have a laundry so you should be doing that yourself. Although, considering your clothes. Oh well. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? No. And she was the only one, wasn't it? And in the gym was no one. someone in the pool area map Joko is in here somewhere Yakia is still there pool is empty okay Kyoko and Yakia are the only ones and now hello dear what are you doing here why who set all this up and why did they choose us there are so many mysteries. Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah. Mm, there, he's the only one left, isn't he? And we are pretty much getting the same answer, aren't we? Well, maybe something has changed. No, it has not. So, who am I going to spend this free time with? Oh boy, who am I going to spend this free time with? I was dubbing between Toko and Kyoko last time. So then why not? Why not? You know... Because I am actually doing a lot more with the women again. Uh, I mean, why not? There are so many mysteries. Hmm. Spend some time with her. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, wish right? But I have my own way of doing things. Okay, I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Ah, Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yes, even though I have totally no idea what to give her. Oil curry, birdseed, kitten hair clip, soul's diamond, blueberry perfume, Tomanicos, bunny earmuffs, Jimmy Decay, Hanbra. I think anyone would like that one. Killian camera. And that's who. Berserker armor. Self destructing. Silent receiver. Pretty young. Caterpillar is no one's uh, idea of a good time. Uh, you know.
all about the camera. To take pictures of electrical fields surrounding objects. Sadly, there is no film in it. Yeah, that would be pretty useless, but hey, who knows? Maybe she got film. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Oh, I have no clue. Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared. Being trapped in this insane school? Correct. Ah, that's good. That's good? So Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage, advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide? Huh? What I mean is, I'm not as foolish, op foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Listen. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. Wait, what? What did you lose? Please, Kyoko, what did you lose? I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Goodbye. Goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. Really, what did she lose? I don't think I understand her at all yet. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Okay, once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Oh boy. Apparently night time again. Ahem. School announcement. School announcement. Night time is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Wait, what? Emergency! Emergency! An emergency with you, Monokuma, is never an emergency. Probably it would be better staying away from the gym. Got her in the gym? Why now, all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah, me too. But let's go to the gym then. Wait, Kyoko is outside. Can I see the map? Kyoko and Mondo are here. He for me is in the front. The rest will probably be in the gym. So... Kyoko? Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except with what Monokuma tells me. 
Yeah. Oh, Mondo. Yo. Hey man, you about to head in? Yeah. Has everyone already gone ahead? <laughs> Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's gonna good nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that da goddamn bear. Um, Mondo. Are you sure you're okay? You kinda want went all out in the sa in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But you know <laughs> There are at the edge of hell. A promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Yeah. <clears throat> No one was in here, I think. So it's a gym that we have to go to. Hey, some free time in escalation. Okay. Hey, he for me. How come you haven't gone in yet? What? Why is that? Mr. Nagy, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. Why not? That's what my ghost friend is telling me. What ghost friend? I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. What ghost friend? <laughs> Damn, that's true, too. I guess, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. And that music, it feels so ominous. It feels so ominous at this moment. Really? Man. Hmm, asking us to gather together all of a sudden. Like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed, what might await us this time? Hmm, he keeps things interesting, that's for sure. For certain. Reading, it's probably getting late. Um. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. That is just creepy if that would come out of Piakia. That would be even more scary than what he's actually doing right now. Yeah. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Yeah, actually is. Which of us is actually messed up, huh? Uh, you, Byakya. That's pretty much clear. You are the one that's messed up. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone. But I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us. How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. Are we in the middle of a major urban area? Are we still in the building what's considered Hope Speak Academy? 
Or are we in some kind of underground bunker just like Area 51? Well, the police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. And all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? Serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Well, I don't know, maybe. Who knows what's going on? I wouldn't count it out. He may have sharp ears. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Oh, brother. That was really scary. He's arrived! <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun? <laughs> what kind of sound like construction? That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Ahaha! <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. It's a li secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become of this oh hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? The next Blackened hasn't shown up yet. And I'm getting bored. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What, do you, what a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other. Anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to god, we won't. Hmm, mm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up there, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. 
So I did a little investigating of my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. And my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makatu wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. Um. That's embarrassing. Even I did that. Really? That's embarrassing. You just... Sometimes you just can't control your bladder during the night, you know. It's not like you have any control over it. What? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme. all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowd in a crowded intersection in a van. Strap with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you mean meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I rather people not know, but. We'd never kill over something like that. What? What do you say? Count on it. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh no. Is it because for better or worse your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assume you all be the same. Yeah, but you need to come up with something better than wetting my bed until the fifth grade. Okay? Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depression. Depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... Okay. I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um. I mean, yeah, having your secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Ew. Listen to me. Good news everyone, I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Actually, that is some way a good plan on the other side. If it is incriminating that you are gonna be considered something bad in future trials 
I wouldn't be getting your hopes up that everyone is going to tell you. So, uh, without a doubt, if we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is, I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, because it is impossible. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. It's okay. Here for me, you're scaring me. You're being a creep now. As I said. Come on. Yeah, you're being a creep. I said I don't want to... Talk about it, you human bag of lard. I think that's the first time she's actually honest. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chio? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it e right now. But, but, but I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong. Then I can tell everyone. So, um, if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope so. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd, could, you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun. But it's not like we're gonna die because of it. So you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... <coughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea, we need to prepare for mo tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety, I just couldn't shake it. But we left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one we headed back to our rooms. Hmm. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe, I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. G 
Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's a difference between like, oops, I killed him. And yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? Really, Monokuma? Really? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Unfortunately, no it isn't. No I don't. Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment. But surprisingly, few can do it with calculated intent. Then I, if it is a heat of the moment, it's not an oops I killed him, it's oh my god I killed him. To make the choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Really? Really? Morning? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah! Monokuma. Really, Monokuma. Wah! <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? I want to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it. Right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates, what? What? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless. Especially now, when? The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah, Makoto. Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura and... Byakuya? What the heck are you here? Byakuya? You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. Or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So if something really hap did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. 
That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories, don't be sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you really realize how dangerous that is? What and he has a point. What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um. There's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. The game is afoot. The game? Really? I imagine they have already looked in the kitchen. Trash room. Sakura is there. Ina is somewhere in the hallway. Jim, no one was there. Okay, Hero was somewhere over there. Library. Of course, Biak, yeah. Jim. Pool. Wait. There are way too few people. Are they still uh, at their place then? Didn't Monokuma wake them up? So, Hina. So, um... I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us. So it seems like the natural place for... Yeah. Sakura, what are you saying? There doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh no. It's just that, what you said the other day, must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose that was floating around my subconsciousness, and it led me here. Okay. Here are the mosquitoes that Chiro ma mentioned. There are trees here. But actually they live in water. Mosquitoes are more in tune with water. Actually. Hmm. So there must be a watery nature part. Yo, anything? Makoto, honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? About Byakya. You think he's being brainwashed or somewhat? I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic. Hey. Listen, Makoto. I think you've completely misunderstood what, what it is I do. Okay? Listen. Listen. Fortune telling is like... Well. It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis. Or anything of that pseudo-scientific bullcrap. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune tell telling isn't pseudoscience. Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Me neither, Makoto, me neither. So...
Where could someone be? Well, this place was new, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, not here. Um, is there someone over here somewhere? On a hallway. You know, this music is again so creepy, eh? As if, as if something bad happened. Why are you here? Again. There's nothing here of interest. Don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. Are you again? Why aren't you looking? Don't you want the co uh, culprit so that... Oh, you probably did it. Wait, what? Didn't the map say someone was in the hallways here? Apparently I remembered it wrong. Let's check the other new areas. Nothing here. So, where did I look for in this area then? I did went to the library, I went to that place. Didn't I? I went to the bathroom. Yeah, I guess it's not in here as well. Okay, last place on second floor is the pool. So... Let's get going to the pool, I guess. Huh? The door's open, but... Aren't these supposed to be locked? Wait, what? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Ooh, investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Yeah, yeah. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the go- Are you a pervert? We start with the boys locker room, okay? He was murdering as if taking only, talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. And we are going in. In that moment, time seem to freeze what my thoughts exactly makoto my thoughts exactly i don't know what lo how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what i was looking at but as soon as i did yeah, yeah, why did... Yeah, yeah, why did you know that it was a girl's locker room? Not the boy's one, or the pool. A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Oh boy. Boy's life of despair, deadly life. 
I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakia on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching the, this unfold in front of a TV screen. Look, Chiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall, in blood. Bloodlust. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if Whoever did this, did it for fun. You see what I mean? Don't you? You did this, didn't you? What? My head was swimming. I still reeling, was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something? Finally, a normal surprise. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Saikas. So you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement, then Chihiro really is. That? Yes. The, the, the. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Not a life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. Okay, apparently we've gone to the next phase of the uh, chapter again. The investigation. So this is where I'm gonna end this episode. I thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw. At least, 
not in the way that you are now thinking about murder but that you want to see what the rest of the game is about so i hope to see you back next time as we are going to invest the investigate the unfortunate murder of chiro she died way too young and she was way too sweet and then, oh well thank you all for watching and until the next time goodbye